Hi, my name is William Higgins and welcome to my review of D-Link's BoxyBox. The next feature we're going to talk about is movies and this is one area that I use a lot and I love the way Boxy handles movies. I have a lot of files uh, that I have created, whether I've ripped my own DVDs. I long ago gave up uh, using DVDs or Blu-ray discs because my kids would scratch them up. So uh, I've gotten those into a format and put them on a on a network drive. And Boxy is able to to access those videos uh, in an entire li and merge them all into an entire library. Um, and this is what you see here. So it's described as local movies. So these are all files. These are not streaming from Netflix or anything like that. These are actual movie files that I have or own that are on my network or on my PC. And it's all brought together in this one particular view. And as you can see, one thing that Boxy does really good is it'll take the, the movie and the file and it will interpret that and go out and get all of this great uh, data information about the director, the who's in it, and this, you know, there's some stars, uh, you know, all kinds of great, you know, information, and, and obviously probably the most visually uh, thing that stands out is the is the movie posters, if you will, and the way to navigate the movies just by clicking on those particular movie posters. So, you know, as we go through the different uh, movies, all it's obviously pretty simple. You select one, and it will give you some information here uh, that asks you to play it, but then you can watch the trailer for it. Uh, there's some additional info, put it in your watch later queue, mark it as a watched movie. There's a lot of different options and then you can share that uh, and then uh, a feature to identify, make sure it identifies the data properly. But I'm just gonna go ahead and play one of my favorite movies, Inception from 2010. And as you can see, it buffers for a second and then quickly moves into the into the movie itself. And you know, your remote, again, the simplistic remote, but I have an ability to uh, bring up the on-screen controls where I can navigate, I can fast forward. Let's so play, pause that. So anyway, showing you the general control items bring up the menu again. I can pause it from the menu. Um, also from the menu I can go and I can actually put it as a favorite. Uh, again, I can get more information, closed captioning, and there's some uh, settings that I can drill into if there's things about subtitles I want to enable, uh, different audio streams and things like that. So again, uh, fairly typical to what you get from like a DVD player, or a Blu-ray player, uh, different controls, but but really I think what shines here is the way that Boxy can just look at that collection of movie files that you may have on your PC, uh, downloaded from you know various different sources that you may have downloaded these from or encoded them yourself, uh, but it really presents it in a way um, that is just looks very expensive, if anything. I mean, there are systems like this out there that are very expensive, but this is one of the areas that I just I love about Boxy and it's uh, it really handles it very well with, without a whole lot of uh, configuration and, and playing around. It just kind of works.